Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys various ways of creating glass in Maya. I got some questions about this and I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on it. So um, what I did is a very basic setup. I created a ground plane and created three uh, cubes that I stretch out to look a little bit like a window plane and I'm going to apply some different materials to this to create some glass. Okay, so we're going to select the first one and we're going to right click. We're going to go down to assign new material and we're going to look for the MIA underscore material underscore X, like so. Then we're going to go into the attribute editor, we're going to select the material tab and we're going to go into the presets. And then I'm going to go down to glass solid and replace. Now, if we go into the uh, render settings, I'm just going to do a quick render here. I selected mental ray because this is a mental ray material. Just going to quickly create a quality of approximately one. And the size, okay, that's fine. Okay, so I just created a couple of point lights here. We're just going to see what this looks like. Let me just give that a second. Okay, as you can see, there's a kind of a blue glow to this, and uh, I typically use this glass when I'm creating something that has a little bit of body, like a vase or something like that. So that's one way to do it. Now we're going to close this render here. We're going to select the second one, right click on it, go down to assign new material. We're going to select the same material again, but in this case, I'm going to go into the presets and I'm going to go with glass thin and replace. And we're going to do another render. Okay, now this looks very, very similar, but in fact it's not. The difference between these two is that when you have light coming through the surface, it's going to respond differently. Uh, in a flat surface like this, not so big of a difference, but what I'll do here is just to illustrate that, I'm going to create two quick spheres here, which you can consider a... Um, you know, kind of a solid object. I'm just going to pull these two up and I'm going to quickly assign the two different types that we use so far. So the first one I'm going to go with presets glass solid replace. The second one right click assign a material same material presets glass thin and replace. And we're just going to zoom in on these two here. And I'm just going to do an additional render. And we'll just give that a second. Okay, now you can clearly see the difference between these two. This left one here is a solid glass ball, so to speak, and this one is more like a glass bubble. But again, you see this bluish kind of hue on it that, you know, it, it's not always what you want. So the third example that I'm going to show you is what if you want to have an absolutely clear glass plane? Now... This is specific to Maya 2014, so I'll just explain what's going on there. We're going to select the, uh, the object, and instead of right-clicking and assign new material, because we're going to use a dielectric material, we need to get that from our hypershade. So select the plane, go up to Window, go to Render Editors, Hypershade, 
and we're gonna search for DIE okay dielectric material and there it is now we're going to middle mouse click on this and we're going to drag it out and release it on top of that object like so okay so that's shown green now the thing is if we render this out this is not going to show up and that is I wouldn't call it a bug but it's a bit of an issue with uh, my 2014 it has been adjusted within an update but for now if you want this to work what you do is after applying the material select your object go into the dielectric material tab right here then go to surface material check on the uh, s uh, checker box and then we're going to go to the legacy materials down here like so and within that checklist we're going to look for our dielectric material and as you'll see this green color will turn to red like so okay now if we render this we should see a complete clear glass um, plane okay here we go Give it another second. <coughs> Excuse me. And already you can see this is a totally different look. Um, the glass is without color. It's completely clear. Uh, this is something that I would use when creating uh, windows and building and such. And uh, as you can see, it looks uh, very, very different. So in short, this, these are uh, a couple of types of glass you can create. Uh, some of them come from the MIA material, and this specific one comes from the dielectric uh, material. Um, if you have an Autodesk Maya version that is prior to 2014, you can right-click on your object, assign new material, and select the dielectric material. And the process that I just showed you, that is applicable for 2014 unless you have your update installed. Okay, hopefully this was helpful. If you got any questions, let me know and uh, thank you for watching.